It is very important to eat the right kind of food. Food has nutrients which help our body perform various functions. When the body does not get the right amount of certain nutrients, we fall sick. Diseases that are caused by the lack of some particular nutrient are called deficiency diseases. Let us now learn about some of the deficiency diseases along with their causes and treatments. What has happened to this child? This condition is called marasmus and it happened because of the lack of protein and carbohydrate in his diet. Other symptoms include dry and wrinkled skin like old people, frequent stomach disorders and diarrhea. A child suffering from marasmus should be fed with food rich in carbohydrates and proteins such as wheat, soya bean, eggs, sugar, potato, gram, fish, meat and nuts. The kid you see in this picture is suffering from yet another protein carbohydrate deficiency disease called kwashiorkor. Affected children have a large belly that sticks out. Their growth is reduced. An enlarged liver may be also noticed when it is diagnosed. Children suffering from kwashiorkor should be given skimmed milk, porridge, that is dalia, khichdi, pulses, eggs, sugar and potato, which are excellent sources of carbohydrates and proteins. Both marasmus and kwashiorkor are serious conditions of malnutrition. Vitamins are essential for a healthy life. Deficiency of vitamin A leads to night blindness. People suffering from this deficiency cannot see properly in the dark. Butter, carrot, papaya, curd, tomato, pumpkin and fish are good sources of vitamin A. Deficiency of vitamin B leads to beriberi. Beriberi is a disease that affects the nervous system. It can affect the whole body and overall growth. Potatoes, beans, banana, unpolished rice and meat are good sources of vitamin B. Scurvy is caused by deficiency of vitamin C. People suffering from scurvy start bleeding from their gums. In extreme cases, they may even lose their teeth. So how do we ensure that we get enough vitamin C in our body? Eat citrus fruits like oranges and lemons and other fruits like guavas, carrots and tomatoes which are excellent sources of vitamin C. Deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets. Weak, thin and brittle bones are the symptoms of rickets. Fish liver oil, eggs, milk and milk products and ample exposure to sunlight are excellent sources of vitamin D. Our body also needs minerals such as iodine, iron and calcium to stay healthy. Goiter is caused due to the deficiency of iodine. A person suffering from goiter becomes weak and lethargic. In extreme cases, one develops swelling in the neck area. Affected persons should add iodized salt in their diet. Anemia is caused due to the deficiency of iron. An anemic person becomes weak and dull. He or she has pale skin, pale eyes, lips and nail beds become dull and almost white. A lot of green leafy vegetables, meat, nuts and pulses should be included in the anemic person's diet. Calcium deficiency affects the bones and teeth formation. Dairy products, pulses, nuts and seeds are good sources of calcium. Deficiency diseases can be prevented by healthy eating. 
we should eat a balanced diet that gives us all the nutrients that our body requires. Before we end this module, here's a summary of what you just learned.